played in a good Thank spirit. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First Lorraine set, said, first yes, she's a friend. Of course she's first. a friend, but I'm still going to beat her. On. She's not a friend when I get up there. Yeah, that's, that's the lane, isn't it? You can't afford to be sympathetic up there. And let's face it, Veenstra was not sympathetic to a 15-year-old kid. 79. Well, you know, I mean, he absolutely smashed him, didn't he? I mean, that was a sensational performance. Yeah, it really was. I was wondering 62. if something special was going to happen tonight. I've mentioned 2010 when the power went at Wembley Arena in the Premier League. And they postponed that night and went on the very next evening. 83. Same kind of thing here tonight and something record-breaking has happened here. These things happen for a reason, folks. Well, I said to, I said to Richard as he came off, you know, that was sensational. I told him, I told him the average, what was it, 104.92. And I said, you know, that is the highest ever. And he just sort of looked at me and said, with that little smile of it, he said, well, he said, well, well somebody had to do it, didn't they? 29. <laughs> That's such an annoying attitude, isn't it? Well, if everybody out there is wondering, of course, because the men's record has been broken tonight, the women's record, and in fact, the top three averages on this stage are all held by Trina Gulliver, MBE. And the top one is 95.97 from the great lady. Probably watching somewhere right now. Yeah, Trina was saying that she might pop by this week. I really hope she does. It'd be great to see her. 26. Shorter format, let me remind you, for this women's match. Best of five legs for the set, but the match 41. is best of three sets, unlike the last one, which was best of five. So we have a break at the end of the first set, and first to two takes a place in the 57. next round. It's been a fascinating ladies comp so far. Especially now that the number one seed is gone. But we have more last 16 action tomorrow with the likes of... 99. Bo Greaves against Veronica Ehas. I'm really looking forward to that. Aileen de Graff against Makura Suzuki as well. That doesn't help the 116 for Vicky. Seven. There's our the man, Scott Marsh. 70. Love and life. Yeah, as well he might. He played well. Now, when Stanley has now got 69. Make that 50. Ball. She seems to be missing to the right of her targets a little bit. She'll have to polish that up a bit. In the quarterfinals, the winner of this one will play Tori Kuish, the number one Australian who 41. beat Dieter Hedman, the number one seed Lorraine, earlier on. 44. So that's a... Fascinating match. Isn't it just? The rain went for the treble 12 there, which would have left double four. It's a curious way for going for 44, that for me. Well, it kind of unnecessarily makes it more of a gamble. Yeah, it does. A big miss there from Lorraine. Vicky She'll be puzzled 68. by what's happened in the last six darts, but Vicky can steal this first leg against the throw if she finds 68. Certainly on now, 16, double six. Oh, she got eight for double top. Game and she's done precisely the that. Leg. Vicky and the rain pays the penalty. As Vicky Second goes leg, ahead Vicky with the first, first leg. Game on. I think Vicky would definitely admit that she didn't play very well in her first game against Desi Mercer. Average of 62 flat. But 83. Again, first round, you just got to get through it, and then you have this ability to improve with increased comfort when you come into your second match. That was a break of throw, incidentally, that first uh, leg there. Prom now with the darts. 121. One of my favorite statistics, and I bring this up all too often. I know that. But Lorraine Wynne Stanley is the only person in darting history 40. to have graced the world final and had 100% on doubles. And she lost the final. A quite silly statistic. Who is that against Lisa Ashton? Mikuru Suzuki. Oh, I beg your pardon. Wow. Indeed. Yeah, Suzuki was marvellous. And in fact, she averaged in that final at Mikuru over 90. 60. And that was the 
fifth best average by a lady on this stage and Mikuru's personal best right here of 90.12 and Mikuru is in the tournament this year 38 and she's undefeated in this tournament there we talk about a potential streak the rain you require one probably just spooked it by saying the word streak there well it's certainly a talking point Treble 14 would leave double top, or she could go the bull route. 102. I like that, actually, with Vicky on 233. I like the bull route there because you get the bullseye. Nice bonus. You can go for double 16, but the 25 and 17 leave tops. 89. Lorraine, Which is where she is now. 40. Looking for an immediate bounce back of a break of throw. There it game is. Game shot and the second leg. Definitely the, the strength in her Stanley. game, John. The doubling. Third She's leg never been known as a massive first. scorer. Game on. She uses those very thick, bulbous barrels. She is an aimer, as our friend Chris Mason would say. That poise just in front of her nose and comes towards the chin 81. and then thrusts the dart forward. But the doubling aspect has always been her strength. She won't average high, but she will punish you if you miss. 16. Well, she's right back into this opening set. She's doing a lot of work at the moment, Lorraine, about... 22. Looking after the future of the game. Does a lot of work with her... darts manufacturing sponsor. And looks after 41. some of the players coming through. One of them, in fact, is Luke Littler. And Daryl Fitton's doing a lot of work with that as well. You see that, <laughs> that little message there? I didn't quite catch it. Said that, 64. He said that somebody works for Avon. And the guy there, he said, my dad works for Avon. And he said, I work for Avon and my name's Ivan. <laughs> Hello, my name's Ivan from Avon. Yeah, I like that, actually. <laughs> Some people were just meant for a certain job. Well... Lorraine's oh, going to go. try and put the win in Win Stanley, isn't she? 121. Not had a maximum in the match as yet. Lorraine just going through a little bit 45. of a better patch here at the moment. Yeah, big experience on this stage, Lorraine, former finalist. She was brought to tears when she lost that final, but she was very philosophical after that loss because she was beaten by the better lady on that 26. Saturday afternoon in 2019. That was a bit unlucky, just deflected into the treble one. She, she was pretty confident that was heading for the treble 20 when it left her hand. Sometimes Lorraine does have that tendency to underextend that arm. It's a very proddy follow through. Whereas you look at someone like Vicky Prom, she's got that stereotypically brilliant technique. Little prod, back and forward. It almost reminds me of 16. Sharon Prince. Remember her? Lorraine, you I do. Played here many times. Lovely technician, Sharon. I hope she's watching along. And if you are, Sharon, I hope you're well. 146 then. To take the lead. Can't be done now. A little bit uh, frustrated that too many are just floating into that. 77. That one. That's a decent Vicky cover shot. 152. Record checkout for the ladies in this tournament is 160. Do you remember the name the of the lady? We, we did that the other day, didn't we? <laughs> I was bringing it up again just to test you. <laughs> well, that's a double lovely dot from Lorraine Win Stanley. You're right, double six, and Game there is that finishing prowess. The third leg. Lorraine Win again, Stanley. beautifully shown. And there's Fourth the admiring husband, Dean, watching every moment. I heard a rumour that Dean is still running after hitting that nine daughter at Alexandra Palace. Remember when he ran off the stage and hit that nine daughter against Vincent van der Voort? <laughs> <laughs> there should be a Twitter page for Dean who's still running. He's a bit like Forrest Gump. He's got... Um, whenever he puts something on social media... He always, but always, has 99. the grumpiest of faces. And yet when you meet him face to face, there's never a smile too far away from his face. Do you know what L Lorraine calls him? 
Grumpy. Mr. Grumpy. Oh, there you go. 29. She's at Colliery again. Saw them earlier. Near, near Canterbury. Yeah, well represented today. 58. Opportunity for Lorraine to win this set by three legs to one. I think he's got to bounce into that 60 a bit more often. 24. Try and raise that average from around 65, which it is right now. Lorraine averaging 73, which is giving her the advantage. There you see again 41. that miss to the right-hand side. She's got to fix that. If she's going to miss the central part of that treble 20, she'd much rather hit the left-hand side right there, in fact. This is lovely from Prompt. 138. Great visit. Great thinking as well. Yeah, leaves leaves the, 170. the 170 indeed, the maximum checkout. Well, it's a night for records. Come on, Vicky, give us a big 133. one. This would be the best checkout in late sight history for the ladies. Not to beat. See if Will Lorraine can do it. She's got a similar opportunity. Two treble twenties and a bull. That's all that's needed. No, and again, just flies off to the right into that one. Full credit to Vicky 80. for leaving 36 from that 170. Vicky that was a great approach. 36. For 2-2. Two, two. Game short well on the fourth leg. Vicky Prune. Fifth leg, it's Lorraine Martin to throw Adams. first. Game on. Among those admiring. Do you know why they call him part of the furniture here? Because he's always here. <laughs> 123. Winner of this one takes the opening set. Good start from Lorraine Winstanley, the number eight seed this year. 14. Do you think it's good, John, that when they get to the quarterfinals, their format is going up this year to best of five sets? I think it's very long overdue. Um, yeah, I, I do, and I think uh, I think people, I think the, the standard of the women's game has improved so so markedly. Although you did highlight the fact that going back, Trina 96. Gulliver is a pretty hot performer as well. But there there are a lot of very talented women's players now, and I, I think it's I think it's to be welcomed. You know, I've got to eat my words as well. I said that the room was the last hundred player we'd see for the first time. We haven't even seen Bo Greaves yet. I've forgotten about Bo. How can you forget about Bo? Absolutely shame on me. She could win this I tournament. Sailing the graph as well. She's not, we're not seen her oh, yet. My stat book is getting burned. It's cluttering up your mind with irrelevances like wrestling. That's what's oh, done. I, I blame Veenstra for what 81. he did in the last match. He's well. frazzled me. I tell you, in the in the players in the players lounge, which is where I watched it, 100. everybody but everybody Lorraine, was gathered around that. I gathered around that television, watching what was happening. His fellow players, Richard Veenstra, were watching gobsmacked, in awe. Great stuff. As is this from Lorraine, who leaves top for the set. Poised, really patient, good focus, and she should be one set to the good. Here we 30. go. Tops for Lorraine Winstanley. Usually pretty sound on her finishing. That's a decent marker. And Game there it is. Shot. Good second dart. Good finish Lorraine again from Lorraine. And she was on for second set. a very first big leg. average it's herself if it wasn't first. for the third leg of the Game, game. She started with two 15 daughters, which everybody knows is 100.2. But then after that, they decided to have a 38 daughter. Does everybody know that? Most people. Right. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll I will quiz people. I will walk. I will walk down the street and ask them. Do you know? I'm going to put it to the test. 62. Second question. Do you know the Muffin Man? Because he's through as well. Did you get a muffin? 60. No, I'm, I'm muffin free. Oh, Steve. My, my body's a bit of a temple, though, as you oh, know. Yeah, well, I'll have yours. I'll give yours to Lindsay. 
She hasn't had a muffin yet from Stephen. She's not very happy about 80. it. I'm still waiting for the guy who's called the lobster thermidor man. She 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 stood on the walk on next next to the man with giving him sort of big doe eyes and saying, you know, please, please, please give me one of your muffins. And he just hard as nails walked straight past. 81. A bit like Puss in Boots and Shrek, giving it the old hat in hands, big eyes. <laughs> She's going to love you for that. 99. Well, Vicky has left herself a bogey number here. And when Stanley's got a chance of getting in the same range, she can find another treble. That's good darts. Yeah, but be, be, because of the amount it? of tungsten she's got, it's really hard for her to concentrate those points on that 60. They are very, very large barrels. 59. It was a little bit unlucky. But she's very much in this opening leg of the second set, Lorraine Wynn Stanley. That's a great first dart, invites more. How many darts has she missed on that right hand side? Too many. 80. Vicky, you require 100. Ton needed. Table 20 would leave double 10. 60. Lorraine, yeah, you require Lorraine 98. 60 and double 19. Or the equivalent of somewhere else. Still on. 57 for tops. Not to be. So he's going to have a really good chance in this match. These are the chances 40. she n must take. Well, this is just a hold of throw, so it's imperative. Double ten. That's Game good dart. shot and the first leg. Well Vicky played. Boone. Second leg is Lorraine throwing first. Vicky's based over here now, isn't she? I do believe she is. She's a bit like Alan Norris. She's been around the block a few times, just living in different places around 123. Europe. One hundred and twenty-three. Chat with Alan the other day, saying. He's, well, he's fluent in Swedish, isn't he, Alan Norris? Yeah, he used to live over there. Yeah, he's been to Sweden, Scotland, Warwickshire, Staffordshire. One hundred. All over the place. The rain's from Buxton, isn't she? She is, yeah. 97. Home of the fancy water. It's a, it's a fine, it's a fine place, is, is Buxton. I think it's the... Isn't it one of 45. the highest towns? One of the highest towns in England, at Buxton. It's whenever there's any snow around, you certainly know about it. I bet it looks really idyllic during the winter. Oh, it is beautiful. There's some fabulous architecture. It's a lovely old spa town with some magnificent 41. buildings. I'll have to go and visit it. How far is it from the M1? A long way. Oh, suck that then. 60. It's in something called the Peak District. The M1 doesn't go through there. Maybe a bit closer to the M6 then. Ish. 41. This one's just slowed down a little bit. A bit of intensity has been lost on the stage, obviously, from what we saw in the last match. But sticking to their task, both of these 16. ladies. And when Stanley has got a really good chance, as we see a very happy Frenchman. Life is good, no? He was very good. Yeah, he was a bit lucky. <laughs> I think he knows that too. 59. Yeah, Sean Burt missed doubles against him in the match earlier on this afternoon, and Thibaut Trickle only needed one dart of double to beat him. That's a maximum from Vicky to lead 56. This is a much improved set from her. Lorraine, you require 140. 140. Can be done, but it's a big, big ask. And again, missing the 20 to the right hand side. So 28. 56. Vicky, you require 56. He's got a smile back on his face. Good to see. He was devastated earlier, losing to Scott Marsh. Double top. 36. Now with Stanley can steal. Lorraine, you require yeah, now this is starting to get very much into her range. Treble 20 she's looking at. And another single one. 
I should be hoping she didn't hit a three here. 22. Vicky, you require 20. James Anderson would be, uh, he's a darter, he'd be looking at this and saying you're bowling in duckers. <laughs> he's a very good dart player. He is. Loves taking a dart board on tour. No score. So, let's try again. Lorraine, you require 90. 90. for the hold of throw. This is already, where you got to... Already 21 darts she's thrown. You've all, always got to stay straight on this shot. That's what you can't do. She doesn't have a single to bull combo now. Needed doesn't have the, a shot at all. Needed the treble 17. And that 74. one cost her very Vicky dearly. Double 10 20. for Prom. Cross to the other side for fives. 10. Lorraine, you require Desperately 16. unlucky there for Vicky. Finding the gap between the dart and the double. That's a lovely guide for Lorraine for double eight. Game Beautifully used. In the second leg. Yeah, that time. Lorraine wins Stanley. It was good. And it puts her back on level terms in this second set. You see many a lady player here. Third leg, it's Vicky to throw first. Boisterous sounding daughter. Well, Lorraine's daughter Josie is here, but she's keeping her cool at the minute. Dean keeps his own counsel as well, doesn't 59. he? He doesn't like to be, uh, doesn't like to be putting anybody off. Now we were talking about that lovely little club earlier on during commentary. Duzzer was saying that he used to practice there. Scott Waits did likewise. One hundred little place. We wondered if the darts was on down there. I bet it is. But some of the members are up here watching in person. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, Scott Waits always used to talk about that club. Said he'd much prefer to practice there and stay out of the way of a lot of his opponents. That's lovely. 140. Back to back ton 40s for Lorraine Wynn Stanley. The one thing that I admire most about Lorraine is that 100. focus. 100. She goes up there and she doesn't get ruffled by anything. She's had a few dodgy darts in this game, all veering to the right, but she's starting to put that to bed she's starting to score beautifully 100. now nine darts and she's already down to one two one and that's for a break of throw which is very much on here route to the treble might be difficult there she's coming away 47 Lorraine you require 121 this set could be so different if Vicky had found a double in the previous leg when Stanley's got six from here, she's looking for a 12 daughter. Might get it on double 18. Phenomenal. Game shot. And what the third a terrific leg, leg of darts. Lorraine Wynn Stanley. 12 daughter from Lorraine Wynn Stanley and showing real Perfect. class. Lorraine there. to throw first. Game on. And now needs just one more leg on darts with the throw to claim victory. I had the audacity to say that Lorraine wasn't a big scorer. 22. And then she goes and it's a 12 daughter. <laughs> yeah, I might have to tell her that afterwards. Can you just give me a bit of a to, running do you, start? Do you, want to, do you want me to tell Dean as well? Please don't. <laughs> He's bigger than me. <laughs> By a distance. <laughs> well, Vicky Prom is under huge pressure now. Oh, that's unlucky. 80. Could have been heading for a treble, clipped the first dart, which was already in there. Well, Vicky has improved average-wise in this game by a good eight 44. points. 44. But if you add another seven on top of that, that's where Lorraine stands. 77 for her is very competent, but there are gears to be found. And you get the feeling that maybe she could use those gears, providing she gets through one of the next couple of legs. Will be up against 59. TKO Tori Kiewish. Well, she's shown she's got a 12 daughter in the locker. That's certainly another level to where she's been in most of this 40. game. Another disappointing visit from Prom. That one section starting to creep in a bit more again. 42.
These signs are getting a bit more creative as the week goes on, John. 41. They're also getting a bit more like adverts. <laughs> Sellouts. Although, having said that, there's probably any number of elephants around the country. You're probably right. Welcome to the hospitable ele elephant. 83. That does sound a bit posh, doesn't it? Oh, I think he's looking to get close to a finish. He wasn't going to leave one. But 2 on 5 for Win Stanley, the number 8 seed. That's about to come down drastically. At a rate of knots, that's two in, coming downstairs. 139. 139. That'll do very, very nicely indeed. And Prom now is really looking as though she is facing an exit from this tournament. 76. Lorraine, Lorraine requires 76. 76 for victory. Make that 56. Looking at the 16 for tops. Oh, she's missed it. Caught in two minds there. She wasn't sure about 20 for double 18. I think she wanted to go back there because she hit it on the 1-2-1 one, one combination. But now she just has to dodge 44. this 1-3-6 from Vicky to Vicky come back for match starts. Can be done, can't now. So it will indeed be another opportunity. 40. Lorraine Winstanley here Lorraine, you're to take a place 32. in the quarterfinals. Double 16. Very good dart thrown with confidence and, and accuracy. Solid Stanley. victory. And her